Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm WolfSoccer25, and today we're going to be going over all the May the 4th be with you reveals that Hasbro just did for me today, April 3rd. Uh, for you guys, it was yesterday at the time of me posting the video, but from recording, it's it's May 3rd, but posting, it's May 4th. So, May the 4th be with you reveals. Um, hopefully, you guys are having a great Star Wars day, and you know, some of the stuff revealed yesterday is stuff you were most excited about, but they did say that most, if not all, the stuff revealed in the stream today would be available for pre order today, uh, the 4th. So, first up, they did a recap of all the Walmart stuff here. Uh, for this is the Bad Batch stuff. Again, like I said previously in my Bad Batch stuff, uh, re or in the Celebration reveal, I would love to pick up all these guys. Primarily, I kind of just at least want the Commando and Tech. But if I could get all of them, I'll get all of them. Doc Ondor, Shop Disney exclusive. He's going up for pre-order today as well. Really want him. He's a must-have for me. I think he's going to be pretty probably hard to get, if I had to say. Uh, and then we had the Shop Disney and Pulse stuff for the retro stuff and they did say that c3po and r2 were both vac metal hopefully i would love if one day they could give us a vac metal version of 3po and the black series on like a new sculpt or something like that that'd be great or on the at least the empire one that was removable with chewy uh first up reveal that they did is general grievous for the gaming greats i believe they did say this is gamestop or fan channel exclusive for the us uh i don't know where all these are revealing or coming out at but Grievous is disappointing to me. I think this character is lame, lame, easy pass. This mold is too small. I love Grievous as a character personally, but I think the, the sculpt is too small. He doesn't stand well. Uh, they didn't even really touch on Grievous or like address him that much. It kind of just talked about Battlefront 2 really quick for a minute. And they're like, oh, it's a rare skin in there. And it's just like, okay, but does he stand better? Like, did you fix any problems that Grievous had? Like... You know, how much is he like? Is he going to be like 30 something dollars for this Grievous? Because I I'm not going to get him. I already have my Grievous. I really would like to get the Grievous model kit from Bandai at some point. But uh, if they, in my opinion, Grievous needs to be bigger and almost, in my opinion, should have removable arms, like two sets of arms where he has one where the arms are connected and ones where the arms are removable like this. So you like can make the arms maybe a little bit bulkier or something. I don't know, but disappointing reveal here and at least in my opinion i think this is an easy pass for probably most people unless you're a completionist then they revealed the uh darth malgus um this is from i believe it's uh oh god um new republic or old republic uh game i think i've never played it so i'm not very like super familiar with darth malgus but he's big he's got a soft goods cape and hood very nice um he looks menacing uh, he kind of almost like looks like I I feel like you could almost customize this to be like if you've ever watched CW shows like the monitor or anti monitor he kind of gives me that vibe from those shows if you watch those uh, or like kind of like a little bit of like was it all for one uh, from my hero academia but uh, yeah really cool I don't really know this character they did say I think he's mainline um, or fan channel at least maybe I can't remember um exactly where he's from but he looks cool they also said the lightsaber is longer than normal because he's bigger but he's probably gonna be like 30 dollars. so expensive not gonna get him right away maybe wait on clearance for him because i just don't i'm not very familiar but he looks cool i will say looks very cool uh then we have mando this is they said a new mando they said that we haven't had a new sculpted mando since like 2020 which weird because i'm pretty sure the mud one from target was new sculpt the chest so but this is like normal mando look uh so yeah new new helmet um definitely new silver paint details or new silver molding that they're doing because the last mando was like very gray like a little bit lighter than this color um i'm a little surprised because i thought this leg pad was also beskar like the rest of them so i thought this should be shiny silver but it's not uh and then he's got the vibro knife the dark saber which one thing i do want to touch on really quick and i saw someone i saw a couple people complaining in the in the chat uh the chat was so toxic for the stream by the way and it was really made it very hard to like want to even leave it open because i always love to see some people's reactions in there too like being like oh yeah this that but it's always just so much complaining and toxic that i just had to close the chat but i seen some people complaining that we're getting a dark saber with them and the spoilers for mandalorian season three if you haven't watched it already you know maybe skip ahead a couple uh seconds or a couple minutes but 
they they were complaining that we're getting it because Mando doesn't have it anymore and because the dark saber was destroyed they're like why are we getting it it makes no sense like you know type thing like they're like we're getting the destroy it's destroyed why are we getting it type thing it's like who cares there are so many characters within the star wars universe between clone wars rebels and mando that have used the dark saber being uh pre vizsla or is it pre vizsla uh, whatever the one from clone wars is pre vizsla darth maul sabine uh bo katan um uh moff gideon uh mando like there's so many people that have used it and we've seen the dark saber so much that like it's lame that we only have one with the Moff Gideon figure that we have. So yeah, gain another one's very needed and and good. Um, but yeah, they also soft good cape with Mando, which is awesome. I, this Mando looks so good. I was actually gonna buy the Moff X one, and this one I think is making me uh, re uh, retract that decision, and I'm going to just stick with this one because he looks really good. So yeah, this Mando looks awesome. Definitely gonna get him uh, pre-ordering him immediately. Uh, then they were doing the roleplay items, Black Series, Axe Wolf Helmet. Really cool, I guess, if you're into that. I'm not. I only have the Mando Helmet, and that's it. So I won't be getting this one. But it looks cool if you're interested in him and like him as a character. Uh, then TVC reveal. They have the Luke and Grogu set from the Book of Boba Fett, uh, which comes with Luke's lightsaber. It looks like Yoda's lightsaber down here, I think. There might be, like, a little rock or something else. I don't remember what that is. And then they had like a, they said a ton of frogs with like a force effect to make it look like Grogu's like holding them up. Probably an expensive set, so I but I do like the look of the Luke. I actually think Luke here looks better than the Black Series variant of this set. So yeah, um, I won't be getting it right away if I ever get it at all because I'm not really big into the TVC. But um, yeah, really cool set if you're interested in that. Uh, then they reveal the. They said this was going to be Return of the Jedi related, but it was for the Ewoks show or movie. I've never seen this, so I don't know what it is, but it's for Wicket and Nisa, which they said Nisa was like never made in the Kenner edition back in the day. Like she was supposed to and they didn't. Uh, and they have the coins here. Which really cool. Like if you're into this, that's great. Personally, to me, I just thought this was a little weird and I'm just I'm not getting I won't get this. Uh so yeah that's just me but again you know how expensive will this set be with the two of these and the coins and everything like that um but then on to still return the jedi anniversary stuff this is kind of where they got went into return of the jedi um this is kind of the only picture which shows like all the accessories and everything because they didn't show the box but they're repacking the recently released wicket for return of the jedi in the same or in the new return of the jedi box it's windowless packaging again he's number 11 in it with the mural and everything like that and and you know great like you know i guess we kind of need wicket with the with the packaging if you're a mural collector but we just got the figure on the return of the jedi card back did we need it probably at the end of the year in a box it's just a easy way to like force this figure out and i figure i i feel like one of these will at least go on sale at some point so like one of them will be less desirable at least so you'll get your chance i haven't picked up wicked at all yet i still want him but I, i'm waiting and that up next was the number 10 in the box and that is uh chewbacca with his return of the jedi look i is this the look from the beginning of the movie at, at the jabba like when they're like in really like they kind of like chuck them over the the barge or whatever into the sarlacc um i'm not really sure but either way, like, I haven't gotten this one yet either. I don't know if I'm going to get this one because I, I don't know if I need this look at Chewie. Especially if that collar is not removable. And if it is removable, then you have this, like, weird looking, like, uh, fur neck pattern that he's got there where it looks like the collar should be there. So I don't know if I need this look. Um, I might pass on this one. I'll get Wicked at some point, but I'll probably pass on the Chewie because I don't know if I need it. Because I'm not really a completionist with the Black Series. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like there's other Return of the Jedi characters we could have got. Uh, and then next, we are going on to the little Clone Wars bit that they got for us here. And we have the new Phase 2 clone. They did say it's a removable helmet. They fixed the knee pads. At least they're different. They're free-floating now, so they could be at the top of the knees if you like the weird way that they currently are. Or they could be at the bottom of the knees when he's kneeling, like how the knee pads should be. Only worry I have is if these will ever, like, rip over time. Um, from being like posing like too much or something like that or like pinching them or something like that 
And then the shoulder pads are different too. They said that there's new, now a ring that the shoulder plugs into, which they've done on like the Stormtrooper or something like that. I think they said Mando's shoulders are actually using that same technology for his shoulder pads too. So uh, more mobility for the arms, which is great. Um, I doubt he has a bicep cut, which I think he should have as well, because like, yes, he has a cut here and it like has rotation at the, at the elbow, but extra rotation at the bicep wouldn't hurt anyone and would actually help for more natural posing for a lot of different poses with the rifles but he's got the two rifles as well painted black line on the visor uh helmet looks a little weird but also at the same time looks fine and hopefully this means every future clone that we get that's like a normal clone without like a custom head hopefully that means they'll all have painted and removable helmets as well instead of what they've been doing where they just put the helmet in there but glue it in and don't paint it at least make the helmet removable but i'll definitely be getting hopefully several of these and i might actually try and remove the head out of several old clones and pop this head in in its place um but yeah definitely want several then we got the magna guard uh this one is an exciting and a weird reveal for me because personally i'm not familiar with the white look is that from the original animated like 2d clone wars um, I'm always more familiar with it being more of the gun metal, like the, like the boots here being consistent throughout or like half of the body or like the primary body and like the upper legs and up and uh, upper arms being like bluish. Um, but they did say you get two different stabs, one like this, and then one here with like a translucent effect uh, or translucent cover over it. And then the, uh, the electricity, and then here's a look at them here a little bit more closely. And he's got the soft goods looks really clean definitely want him at least want two at some point but i might wait a little bit on him because i don't know if i need him right away hopefully he could actually stand with these legs because all the droids just don't stand very well like k2so's and those droids don't stand for me at all so yeah um and then lastly season three ahsoka very cool definitely want it good to have it because it's a mainline release not going to be exclusive anywhere um very nice to hear that at least for the u.s wise and uh she's got the cool green lightsabers kind of wish she had the blue blades as well even though it doesn't make sense because she i don't think ever had blue lightsabers with this look but um at least i don't think she did but yeah it would have been nice to get an extra set of blades maybe just for like an extra thing or whatever or like the call to the uh the legacy sabers at galaxy's edge but yeah cool looking figure and definitely will be picking up this ahsoka especially if you know you missed out on the previous clone wars one beta walmart exclusive uh and then last little reveal is the tvc uh grand inquisitor from obi-wan they did also say he's coming with a second um saber handle that is uh without the sabers that could plug into his back and if you want him without the saber uh but cool i guess if you're into the tvc or like this version of the grand inquisitor personally i want the rebels version if i were to get a uh, grand inquisitor um in both uh and then they're revealing the archive uh again archive wave five six i don't remember what this one is for the black series uh but they're doing bo katan um this is the which is cool if you missed out on her but i don't need her because i have her already uh x-wing pilot luke which is sadly on a shorter body so i don't know if i'd even want to like get multiple of these for like different heads to go on them for different like pilots um the, the figure probably could i would imagine use a redo at this point in time uh a new vader from they did say it's going to be a new hope vader and they said that the cape or cloak or cape whatever yeah should be coming up over the shoulders more uh so it sounds like they're doing some tweaks on this vader uh so hopefully we get like maybe some butterflies or like they retooled the vader entirely and like yeah it's archive but like who cares just like it, i think archive should be more than just release the same old crappy figure i think archive should be like hey we had this old really bad figure and we're gonna actually redo the figure entirely and like archive and like re-release it in its fixed form like what they should have done for anakin and obi-wan from revenge of the sith but whatever and then lastly stormtrooper really cool if you need more stormtroopers and want an army build i'll probably get more of these at some point um especially if they go on sale at, at all i'll definitely get that and then here is the end of the thing and this is the big reveals and this is i think where they kind of shined with the whole presentation since we'd seen everything before you know everything that we'd previously seen was all already pipelined um and this is like the new new stuff 
Uh, I don't know why we have Paz Vizsla here. Or Paz Vizsla. Is it Paz? Paz? I don't know. I don't know why they have him here in the pipeline reveals. That's kind of like their art. Because they're like, well, we can't really archive him. But they're archiving Bo-Katan. So they could have him, archived him. But maybe because he was a deluxe, they can't archive him because he's too big. So, but they archived the... Did they archive Gamorrean Guard? I don't know. But it, it's just weird that they put him here. So are they going to give us the little, like, shield thing that he's got from Mando Season 3? Like, what differences do they give for him to make him a worthy figure to get again? Because they've already given us him, what, three or four times? The original release, the carbonized variant, the... John Favreau head variant and then did they give us a credit collection version as well I don't remember um yeah so yeah unless they do a major change I'm not gonna get him again uh then they have this is grief Karga's royal r4 droid that he's got from the Mandalorian Walmart exclusive which sucks but I I'm so excited for this astromechs are my favorite thing out of enti the entirety of Star Wars so I, I can't wait for this figure if I can I definitely want at least two of it if I maybe ever wanted to repaint it, but I love Astromex and I, I love the R4 design with like the like the different cone styled head and hopefully this means there's more droids that we'd get in the future with the R4 style mold. Uh, and then lastly for the pipelines for the Black Series figures is the Phantom Menace, Anakin and Padme. Uh, much needed figures in the line they even said it you know we've got obi-wan we've got qui-gon we've got jar jar we've got darth maul we've got the battle droid we have all these phantom menace figures and we're missing the main character throughout all of star wars being anakin and and padme you know his love interest and and everything and we and we we haven't had these two yet and we still could get different variants from the phantom menace being young anakin at the end when he's like the the jedi apprentice padawan or whatever and he's got like the little like shaved head and like the padawan braid and we could also get padme and like her we could get her in the queen the queen amidala robe like with the the face paint and like the makeup and everything like that we could also get her on tatooine when she's in like the blue outfit so there's several variants of padme we could still get but it's cool to see like the red one the red like uh maroon outfit and then they did say we're also getting the carson tiva uh roleplay helmet so and then lastly i guess they did say for the Haslab, they're not revealing it today so they will they did announce when they're revealing it and that is at san diego comic-con which is probably a couple months away a couple weeks away i don't know when it is so yeah uh that was it that was all the reveals so a lot of cool stuff i personally think pipeline is definitely where they shined archive was a little odd um but ahsoka the magna guard the clone all definitely want those but i will be waiting on magna guard um wicket will i'll get at some point and i definitely want the mag uh the mando and the darth malgus i'll get at some point probably if he goes on like sale but yeah some good stuff here um a lot of cool stuff uh definitely think the stream was like the the chat for the stream was very toxic um, I understand being disappointed and I honestly I'm a little disappointed as well because everything that they revealed was all just previously pipeline so they were just showing it us physically for the first time and like giving us the pre-order for it which is great but I would have almost liked a surprise or two you know like an extra like Clone Wars has so many characters we don't have yet and to like only do the three of those is kind of like lame to me like we have so many more we have some named characters named commanders that we just haven't got named clones that we haven't got we haven't gotten several clones and like you know like we haven't gotten the new the new clone body with the 501st clone trooper we there's so many we're missing and you know just to only reveal those three so hopefully you know for the clone wars anniversary uh, we get more characters throughout the year, but I don't know if it's Clone Wars anniversary, like 20th anniversary for the 3D, like actual Clone Wars, or if it's like the older 2D one. I don't know what the anniversary actually is for, so I don't know. Uh, but some some cool stuff. But I definitely see if you are disappointed, I could see being disappointed because I'm like ha I'm like 50/50. I'm excited for a lot of stuff, but there's also some lame stuff like the Return of the Jedi repacks of Wicket and Chewie. It's just it's that feels like kind of scummy to me and i would have rather had them like repack a different figure that hasn't been out in a while from return of the jedi or 
like kind of make some newer Return of the Jedi figures that we haven't gotten before, maybe. Because I'm sure there's a couple Return of the Jedi like appearance, like looks or something. Like we could have maybe gotten like the Vac Metal C three PO. Like you know, I know it'd be expensive to make, but I would love a very shiny, you know, three PO for the Black Series, or just like paint them shiny. Uh, either way, um, interesting stuff. Uh, I promise I'm not a Black Series only channel. I I do other content as well, and I will have reviews hopefully this week as well. Um, I talked about reviewing the knockoff clones and stuff like that, so they will be coming. Uh, I've just had some stuff, family emergencies going on the past week, and I've had a little bit of a uh, little bit of burnout and drain lately, feeling from recording and just doing anything in general. So, I'll, I'll get to more stuff. Um, I do actually plan on making some like top five and top ten most wanted black series figures type thing. So like. There's like an overall one. I was going to do it like a week ago, like after celebration. I was going to do it after celebration, but I ended up waiting because I was like, well, I'm going to wait a little bit. And then I was going to do it, but I figured I'd wait till after this presentation in case anything got revealed. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably be doing that next week. Um, and uh, I'll be doing some more individual ones for like specific shows. So I do have Black Series related content coming um, and then I have like Marvel Legend reviews and other stuff coming as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts and opinions on it. And uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me in here today for the video since I'm not Black Series focused. So if you did enjoy my thoughts and everything, uh, I would always appreciate a like on the channel. And a subscribe if you're new and haven't done so already. It does help me out a lot. I do always greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys all in whatever video comes next out on the channel. So I'll see you guys then.